Hey, is everybody ready? Awesome. All right, uh, pretty good work day today. Got some different situations um, that we that we instituted. You're working, you know, full group substitutions. Uh, you know, just trying to trying to build that knowledge and uh, and the experiences throughout practice. Uh, I've had three pretty uh, pretty good pretty good days. Uh, the workload's been high. Uh, I really like like the uh, the competitiveness that we're showing. Just continuing to, to refine the uh, the fundamentals and the specifics of what we're trying to accomplish. So um, I thought it was a good day. Really been uh, trying to get a good look at the the two young quarterbacks. Uh, I've really been pleased with you know Chuba and uh, and Tate these last few days. You know we've had a lot, had a big workload. You look at the scrimmage, and I would say uh, you know McKenzie and Jordan you know you know probably took overall about 85 uh, percent of the snaps. So we wanted to get a few days here uh, this week to to let those young guys you know show their growth you know from the scrimmage and I think both those guys have really taken advantage of those opportunities here uh, you'll get some reps with the first group and be trying to mix and match that so uh, good work days um, tomorrow will be a, a, a special teams emphasis also continuing to work some uh, some other situations you know two minute drills things like that so uh, hopefully we continue to build off of uh, you know what we've been installing here this week and, and be a little bit crisper tomorrow when it comes to that yeah absolutely we're going to continue to continue to work those guys making sure we get a great evaluation of each uh of each of the guys um, you know uh, it's one of those things you know, especially with the young guys you know there's times when you're working with the the third group and, and maybe you know the line combination that you're with is a little bit different um, you know trying to get them matched up with some of the uh, uh the better guys up front and some of those receivers to see how they respond and uh, i think they've done a nice job with it did you like the way that they responded to the two young quarterbacks after yesterday having some up and downs? Yeah, I thought yesterday when you go back and watch it, I mean, I thought they made the, the, the right decisions quite a few times. And there's some things they got to clean up with their technique, but um, I thought today they, they came out, they were really, uh, uh, I think they're building in their confidence of, of where they're supposed to go and what it needs to look like. It's just uh, uh, the consistency playing a play out, understanding the situation. Had a few guys up front uh, that uh, you know were working different combinations there, so you know just make sure they're all on the same page. But you know I think uh, I think it's been a really good day for, for uh, you know Chuba and, and Tate here these last last couple of days. Did you like some of the decisions they're making? Because you, you talked about the decision making in the scrimmage. And it seemed like in, at least in the 11 on 11, maybe they were not forcing things. Well. Absolutely, and that was one of the things that. Um, you know, in the, in the scrimmage, when, when something bad happened or something flashed, you know, I thought they were trying to do almost too much. And, um, you know, it's really let the game come to them. Let them, let them have the opportunity to play one more snap. And not every play is going to gonna be perfect. You know, sometimes an incomplete pass is the best thing that we can have. Uh, but if you, you give yourself the, the, the next snap, then you got a chance to, to be successful in that moment. So um, I thought it was uh, – I really like the growth that they're, that they're showing. Uh, you know, you look at like a guy like Chubba, you know, missing most of all of last year with just – Repetition. I mean, he just hasn't had it, and you know, really getting the most extensive work that he's had since he's been here. And you know, he's he's making some great strides. Show that, Pete. You know, how do you like the response whenever they like, I played goes or something like that? How do you like when they're responding to that? Kind of situation? That's good. I mean, they they've been learning. I mean, they you know they they embrace the challenge. They know that uh, uh, you know, they have to improve, and you know, they've got that mindset. Dennis Briggs, as far as quickness, that first step is, is pretty evident. Yeah. What was he kind of showing you? Yeah, I mean, he's had a really good camp. And, I mean, Dennis, you know, going, you know, when Dennis first got here was a defensive end. You know, his body's changed and developed. And he's been able to move inside. And, uh, you know, he, he is explosive. He's explosive up front, you know, with, uh, you know, the thing that I like, you know, not just with the first step, but, I mean, you know, really how he's been able to hold a point, uh, you, know, you know, taking on double teams, using technique, using fundamentals. Um, you know, he's a he's a guy that I think has a, a chance to be a really really good football player for us there inside, and uh, you know, we need that. You can have a good day of practice. You can still wear the the shade. That's still the orange jersey. That's not a bad thing. Uh, yeah, there's we have we have a, standard things that we're doing within the program. Um, you know, uh, you know, unfortunately for Dennis, you know, he had uh, he had a situation where his stomach wasn't feeling real good and uh, was trying to get to, to a meeting on time, but. Uh, it takes accountability whenever uh, whenever that happens. So it's not something that is uh, uh, common for him. But you know, at the end of the day, you know, we just talk about planning and planning uh, the best that we can possibly can plan. Uh, but yes, it's uh, we have a couple guys that have had those uh, had those uh, distinctions. You mentioned Kentron the other day, but it seems like he keeps making catches. And Jordan Lewis seems like he's coming along. Yeah, yeah, no, absolutely. I think uh, you know, I think Kentron. You know, you, you look at how how. Uh, 
how little he's played the game, you know, from a different team, di different team um, you know, situations, you know, from only playing a couple years in high school and what he's what he's been able to do after his first year. Um, you know, last year he got game experience, but you know, there was a lot of things that was kind of forced into it. You see his confidence growing. You see his, his physical development really uh, uh, developing, and uh, you know I'm, I'm excited about where he is. And uh, I think I think it's a huge upside. Um, you know, I'm really impressed with that. And then, you know, uh, you know Jay, uh, you know he's been battling with a lot of different, uh, you know, I'll say minor injuries that uh, you know, he's had to work through. And this has been from summer into fall camp. Uh, but he, he's his mentality. Uh, is night and day, even from where it was last year. And you know, he's he's a guy that um, you know I think could be a great special teams player for us. A guy that can absolutely serve a role for us offensively. And uh, you know, he's he's working away at that dealing with some of those with some of those things that uh, he's having to work through. What did you see from the, the younger tight ends today? It seems like we saw Mark Easton, Preston, and Jackson all make plays. Yeah, you know, I think you know Jackson West is a guy that um, I've really been pleased with, and uh, you know, he's. He's coming along. You know, we got to throw him out there, and he's got to learn. You know, learn from the experience. Um, there's still some mistakes that that, are, that have shown up, but uh, Marquiston, you know, who missed all of last fall, uh, you know, and was very limited this spring. Uh, you you see the the potential that he has, and he is really. Uh, I'm excited. I'm excited about where where his development is is going. Um, you know, has done a, done a nice job there, and you know, really all those tight ends. I mean, they're just they're, they're continuing to work. We need that needs to be a position of strength for us. And uh, you know, with what you have with Cam and, and uh, you know Jordan Wilson, the, your two older guys, uh, it's good to see the youth and, and uh, the strides that they're taking. It looks like DJ Lundy has flashed the last couple of days. Is he kind of trending in the right direction? Absolutely. You know, he's a guy I know I mentioned yesterday and um, or two days ago in the media after going back and watching the scrimmage. Uh, you know, I thought him and Kalen Deloach really trending in the right direction. You know, guys that made impactful plays, uh, their speed, their physicality showing up. Um, you know, and, that, and that's what it's great is you see that you're, you're forcing a response from Stephen Dix, you know, Amari Gaynor, you know, guys that, that are, are all fighting for roles. You know, I know I mentioned Cortez Andrews is somebody that flashed in a scrimmage as well. Uh, I'm, I'm excited about uh, the, the, the competition we have at that group. It's still a young group, and it's one that um, you know, we've got to play at a high level. And, uh, you know, they're, they're starting to, to emerge in the ways that we need to see them. Yeah, you know, I'll tell you, I think Alex, uh, starting off with punters, I think Alex is at an exceptional camp. You know, just uh, the versatility of, of what he can do. Uh, you know, his pocket punting is, is uh, really outstanding. I mean, the, the way that he's been able to work uh, in, in not only just the um, – the distance of the kicks, but the hang time he's been able to create, I think that that can be a major weapon for us. Um, and then the kick, kickers, they they're competing. They're competing every day in what they're doing. Um, you know, I thought Ryan, you had a couple big kicks there late. Uh, you know, we're putting them in challenging situations every day, uh, trying to, to force that that uh, uh, competition and who's going to respond in the moment. And uh, you know, I'm pleased with how that how that you know kicking battle is going as well. That is a good thing. We want to make kicks, and uh, we are making uh, we're making more. You know, making a good number of them. You know, still still continuing to uh, to, to push that, but uh, yeah, they're doing a nice job. How important is versatility in big guys? Well, I mean, it's it's critical because you know you're never in control of injuries, and but that's going to happen. There's going to be times that guys, uh, uh, you know, that they have ups and downs, uh, you know, uh, of, of availability. But you know, especially in this time of you know, this kind of climate, uh, you know. Uh, it's, nothing's for certain, and uh, so you have to be ready. You got to be able to, 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 to mix and match and move. And uh, you know, our guys they embrace the, the mental aspect of it, and it's something that we harp on. You know, just understanding the concepts, understanding where you need to fit. Um, you know, it's funny we had uh, we actually had Andre Wadsworth. Um, you know, he got a chance to. I guess present to our team. You know, we uh, we've been connecting a lot of the past players and you know educating our team about that. And uh, you know, Andre told his story about his redshirt freshman year as a walk-on uh, defensive end that was all the way down the de depth chart. Uh, but in the Miami game, you know, they needed somebody to be able to go in and play nose. And all he had done was prepare, and he prepared to learn every every defensive position up front. And uh, when he got his name called, he made the most of it. Ended up starting every game the rest of his career. But the willingness that even though he was a defensive end in position, you know, he was able to go in there and, and play nose, and uh, you know, it really sparked him to an incredible career.